Isabella de Xera joins us now. Uh, she is the former Brazilian Minister for the Environment. You've talked to the forum this morning. And we would, the forum is where agriculture and environment meet. That was one of the issues debated in terms of your experience within Brazil, how joined up agriculture and the environment actually is. First of all, thank you very much for the opportunity for coming. It was excellent to have this opportunity to debate agriculture and the environment in a country like Brazil. We are, we are an important country for biodiversity conservation, water conservation, natural resource conservation, and also for agricultural production. And uh, we have a challenge in our country to put this together. We have a new legal tools and also a new framework to implement our NDC concerning the Paris Agreement on climate change. And together, to put in practice as sustainable development goals. My feeling is to come here is that uh, it's not a challenge for the government, but for our society. We need to identify the new tracks for developing in developing country like Brazil. And uh, you have an ambition to have a low carbon economy. We propose in DC based on an economy-wide approach, the developing countries that propose this. And uh, to achieve this uh, ambition, it's absolutely strategic that you can have agriculture playing uh, innovative tracks. And uh, in my opinion, I think that to put this together, based on solution, uh, we need to act, but I also think that we need to know how to react. Okay, you cannot react uh, spreadly. We need to have focus on to identify what are the key issues that we'd like to address. And also remember that as a developing country, we need to support initiatives, international and national ones, to poverty eradication, extremely poverty eradication. Brazil is well succeeded in this. We need to do more. And I do believe that food security and environmental conservation, the bridge between biodiverse conservation and food security, uh, highlights the importance of water security in our country. So I really uh, think that it's an amazing initiative, more than this, and I hope that we can have the full engagement, a new momentum for the engagement of the private sector in Brazil to play together with the government and society the, our ambitions considering Paris agreements and SDGs implementation. Brazil, of course, it's well documented, has not been without its problems. You mentioned water as an example. But do you feel optimistic about engagement, solutions, finding bridges, the future? Very briefly. I always like to say that I, I feel optimistic, but I'm also pragmatic. I'm a pragmatic woman. And I learned a lot the last years that uh, to mobilize people, we need more than a purpose. We need to know how to act. We need to have a bottom-up approach. We need to be sure about the political engagement of different stakeholders and how we can have at least delivery, how we can deliver things, concrete outcomes. I'm convinced that to have this reality today in Brazil, biodiverse conservation, environmental uh, protection is a value for our society, but we need to move on considering cultural development. And I think that uh, uh, we'll be able to succeed, but we need to work hard. Brazil is part of the BRIC country, so that, that block. Uh, they are their response to climate change, for example, is absolutely crucial to the planet's future. Yes. Brazil, I would like to remember that the last years, the uh, United Nations recognized this, that we're responsible for the most reduction of carbon emissions uh, in the world because we, tell, we face illegal deforestation in the Amazon region. I'm honored to have the lowest rates of defore deforestation in the Amazon during my term as minister. But we need to do more. We need to and the illegal deforestation, and the need to restore the weighted area. This is our ambition in, in, in uh, climate change, and we need to become, in the future, a think. And this is a strategic role for a country like Brazil, that you know that you can have, you can produce food without damaging the environment, and more than this, you can restore and have an additional value for restoration and forest recovery in our country. I think that the new forest code implementation, the compliance of the new forest code, the new environmental rural, rural environmental register is a tool that you can uh, use all the data in more than four millions of rural properties in our country. We can use this together with agricultural development to say that protection and production can, must be together. Protection environment, product, sustainable protection must be together, uh, not only in the, the government, but also in the civil society and private sector. Isabella de Shera, thank you very much for talking to us and enjoy the rest of the forum. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming.